name is Chris Long. I'm the VP of Operations here at uh, Innovative Percussion. We make uh, keyboard mallets for uh, marimbas, xylophones, vibraphones, bells, um, any kind of instruments that have a, a drum head on them. Percussion striking implements, that's what we do. Balance is very important. Um, sound is very important. Um, the weight, uh, pitch of the wood, all of these, all of these things come into play when you're when you're playing a percussion instrument. You want to you want to be comfortable. You want to get the the best sound out of the instrument you can, and also you want it to um, you want to be able to express who you are on that instrument. And and we try to uh, we try to accommodate accommodate that as best we can. Wood varies quite a bit in pitch. Um, pitch is really important when it comes to the feel. Uh, if you have a low pitched stick, um, it's, it's gonna feel pretty lifeless. Um, you, want, you want to find a stick that, that rings because that's gonna, that's gonna resonate. It, it's, it's all a part of the instrument that you're playing. When you play that instrument, you want the instrument to resonate. The stick is a part of that sound. Um, you want to you want to make sure that that stick has life as well, because that that's that's part of the that's the whole the whole picture. Your your body, the motion, the stick is resonating, the instrument is resonating. It's all part of one thing. It's all a, a symbiotic performance. You're connected. You're connected to that instrument. The wood has to be of ultimate quality. Um, very straight grain on the wood, that's a good sign. You know, bright white wood is very important. From there, they are turned with our lathes, very precise, measured every step of the way to make sure that, that those tolerances are, are very tight. Here's an example of one of the sticks after they're, after they're turned. This, this particular stick is a, is a popular marching stick. Uh, this is the, the Paul Rennick uh, FSPR2. Uh, we turn quite a, quite a few of these. Uh, especially this time of year during the summer. From there, these sticks are, they're cut from what you saw there. The tips are shaped, the butt ends are shaped. They have a lacquer applied to them. Um, then from that process, they are weight matched and pitch matched. So our weight matching is within a tolerance of two grams. Then they are pitch matched um, to a very, very tight tolerance. Um, so that every stick in, in a pair feels like the same stick. It's very important, especially with, with marching drums. They're, they're playing on the very tight surface, so you can feel that, that, uh, that stick resonating in your hands. Um, but, but the same tolerance is applied to the drum set as well. We use a lot of unconventional parts for, for uh, many of our implements. We use lacrosse balls in, in, you know, in some of our some of our uh, parts, like this is a, it's a hockey puck that we use, uh, we use in, a, in a gong mallet that we, <laughs> we manufacture. So we're, we're constantly looking for different materials and different sounds. I've been with the company for 25 years. I could go back to when we were rolling dowels and drinking beer and watching movies when we were <laughs> making keyboard mallets. Being with the company for 25 years, uh, I've, I've really seen this company grow. When we started, uh, when I was, when I was uh, Eric Johnson's first employee, he was the, the president of the company, the guy that started this whole thing, uh, I was working for him uh, out of his garage. I mean, we literally had a, uh, we had a drill press over in the corner of his bedroom. And, um, you know, we were just, you know, for me, I was a poor college student, you know, just looking to, uh, you know, make my own keyboard mallets because, you know, when you're in college, those things can be expensive. The company has grown to uh, producing around 600 different products out of this office. I was always hopeful that this, this company would, would grow to be a, um, a competitor at, at some point in time. That, that, would be, that would be an amazing thing. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that it would grow to be as, as uh, have as many products as, as we do and have them all sound 
uh, so unique from each other. I mean, that, that's one thing that we're we're very proud of is that that uh, we don't we don't repeat any sounds. You can you can create so many different sounds with the products that we have, and and there's more sounds to to be created uh, for sure.